What is the role of vegetables in dog food? So many people think that vegetables are indeed beneficial to a dog's health. But in this video, I am going to set the record straight and tell you why you should or you shouldn't feed vegetables and when and how and how much. So stay tuned. The first thing I want to say is that we now know from science that dogs make their own blood sugar from protein and fat in a process called gluconeogenesis and that they have no dietary requirement for carbohydrates whatsoever. What does this mean? This means that dogs only need protein and fat in order to survive and thrive and that anything else is extra. So many people get bogged down into the detail when it comes to vegetables and they start giving dogs carrots or broccoli or whatever for different reasons for their dental health because they have a sensitive stomach and they might want to give them a bit of pumpkin or all that sort of stuff. They might give seasonal berries or they might put a few strawberries in the bowl as a treat. And you will be saying, well, is that not normal? Is that not healthy for a dog? Is that not good for a dog? Well, as with everything in life, it does depend. If we look at a dog's whole prey ratios, what a dog would eat in the wild let's picture that your dog is in the wild and they catch a rabbit or a small mammal roughly they are going to be eating 70 to 80 percent lean meat 10 percent offal of which five percent is liver and then 10 percent bone and within that 100 percent their small mammal will have maybe consumed a very small amount of grass or a very small amount of plant matter or fruits or whatever and that will comprise between one and three percent and again this is not absolute and percentages may vary in any case any of these vegetables or any of these plant matter will be already fermented so it will not be raw so those are roughly the whole prey ratios that your dog will be accustomed to and will be okay on when it comes to adding vegetables and adding this and adding that, the thing we see all the time when people come to our branches is that they do not realize that any excess carbohydrates, any excess starches, first of all, dogs cannot digest them in the mouth. They do not have an enzyme called amylase that helps them break down starches in the mouth. They can actually digest it and break it down because they do secrete some amylase in the pancreas and kidneys, so they can actually break them down. But what people fail to understand is that any excess carbohydrates, any excess, anything else apart from protein and fat will potentially get metabolized into sugar and excess sugar convert into triglycerides in the liver, will convert into fat in the liver. This means that if you eat strawberries, for example, those will turn into fructose, metabolized to fructose, by your liver. It'll be a very similar thing in your dog's case. What does this mean? Is this good or is this bad? Well, it depends. My advice as a general rule of thumb for people is that if you are feeding a kibble, if you are feeding a high quality dog food, that high quality dog food will already contain some small amount of carbohydrates, hopefully, coming from pears, apples, coming from broccoli, coming from organic carrots, for example. So that kibble or that brand of dog food will already contain a certain amount of vegetables. The problem becomes whenever we see a lot of dogs with several health issues, such as pancreatitis or diabetes, anything else that by you feeding your dog your carrots and whatever else you are feeding their dog, you are only adding to the problem because let's say your dog has diabetes. What you do not want is to spike those insulin levels so your dog is out of whack when it comes to their blood glucose level, for example. So we do not want to make their condition worse. You will be asking then, how much should I give my dog if I want to feed them any fruits or vegetables? Well, you should probably feed them as few as you actually can. Maybe like one to 3%, one to 5%, maybe up to 10%, 
who knows what the right ratio, what the right percentage is. What we do find a lot of the time is that a kilo of broccoli is always going to be cheaper than a kilo of lamb. And so manufacturers will put a lot of cheap fillers in the food and sell them as organic and sell them as very healthy for dogs when in fact they are only cutting corners not putting enough meat in the recipes which is what cost money and then labeling it in a way that makes you perceive you are getting a very good product and on top of that you are feeding your dog more carrots or more fruits or rice or wheat or whatever else you might be feeding their dog and then the dog starts getting maybe 30 40 50 70 percent of their diet coming from filler coming from carbohydrates remember that dogs can make their own energy their own sugar from protein and fat so anything else you feed them try for it to be on the margin and can vegetables be beneficial absolutely can a little bit of pumpkin or butternut squash or a few strawberries are those beneficial seasonally absolutely i have nothing against that and i have nothing bad to say about that the only problem becomes when it becomes too much or whether the dog has any health issues what vegetables do you feed your dog let me know in the comments